Hi guys, welcome to Root Stem and welcome to my unboxing of <gasps> the Iron Head Scott Prospectors! Yes! You don't know how I am excited! Hi right, guys, thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, I'm going to be cracking open and having a look at some of my first ever squat models. Now, some might say, that, hey, how come it's the first time you've ever since you've been playing this game since Rogue Trader? Oh, I was very young when Rogue Trader was out, and of course, you only had money for certain pieces. I didn't even have an Eldar army until second edition rolled around. And um, so majority of the time, of course, if you were playing back then, they tend to be space marines, so everyone had an RTBR one. Right, this is my first ever squat model. Squats are back. They are called the Leagues of Vostan, I think it is, in Warhammer 40k. They're going to be coming thick and fast quite soon. But they have released their original counterparts, the Squats, in Necromunda. And I'm really excited to be able to actually build and paint some of these models. I think I'm going to be using some delightful green stuff world... Um, paints on these particular figures i think that's going to come across and make the armor look fantastic edit that paul and i'm also liking the fact that these weapons they look like imperial weapons but they aren't imperial weapons if you get my gist so what are we getting in the box let's open it and find out i've not actually cracked this one open yet it's a standard Games Workshop fair for the smaller boxes. There's no internal box. We're just looking at... There we go. Nothing else in the box there. We've got a standard rule. If anyone's actually looked at the video I did regarding the um, cargo, the ridge hauler, the cargo 8 ridge hauler, you'll notice that the manuals, for some reason, are very plain at this moment in time. They are not the greatest. Now, I will be constructing these. Uh, I don't actually have, unfortunately, I don't have the rules for the squats just yet. So when I do um, actually start putting them together, I'm going to need to know what type of weapons are going to be best for my guys. But Thunder Hammer is always great, to be honest. That sort of looks like he's just got, well, it looks like a stone hammer or power hammer. Oh, stone burner and power hammer. All right, okay, so that's what's on his shoulder. Normally, what I would normally do with kits like these uh, for Necromunda is I would purchase one and then I would just simply make it up into, um, I'd, uh, yeah, I'd buy another one so that I actually had a lot more. That's what I did with my Asher Force. I've got two sprues of those, guys, uh, those ladies. I said, guys, I've got two sprues of those ladies uh, and, of course, some additional weapons so that I can have pretty much whatever type of outfit I am actually after. These... They do look good. Um, I wonder what size bases are going to come on. Because if they come on anything, like any of the larger bases, it's going to be a little bit anticlimactic, I think. Um, because these are supposed to be small and squat. <laughs> squat. Uh, it does look like you're getting quite a lot. So you're getting iron head bolt guns, stub guns, bolt pistols, auto guns, heavy stubbers. I'm liking the fact that the mining masks are... You've got sort of like the pith helmets. And then you've got the ones with the visors. That's pretty cool. I'm not, I'll probably go for a mixture when I do my force. Yep, uh, unfortunately, that is a bit disappointing. I was hoping for some smaller models. If anyone can remember me doing the, the video regarding um, me getting, I'm um, painting these. So this, as you can see, because that fits inside of there, these are slightly larger bases than the original um, slot base that Games Workshop released. That one actually says 2003 on it. I'm surprised it's that old. These, of course, are 2019. These fit more. Uh, I'm painting up some um, Eldar at the moment. These actually fit more with the Elder Force. So that looks like the standard base size is definitely growing. Not something I'm enjoying because if you've got quite older armies, it can look a little odd when you actually field units together. Sometimes you want to add to a unit and, of course, a different base size can put it off. So you're only getting, of course, the standard Necromunda Fair. We are getting two sprues, which... If I lay them out correctly, are always, always identical to each other. So effectively, it's one sprue of five men 
but each five can be built in two different ways. I do wish to actually get rid of this standard sort of fare. I, I much prefer the old, uh, old school way of everything was, you, you managed to get everything together and it was um, pretty much up to you. So you, know, you got your body, you got your legs, and then you could stick whatever arm was on there and the head and combinations. Old school third edition Space Marines used to be able to do that. They were quite versatile. I wish to kind of go retro back a little bit to something like that. Um, some of these new kits, you're getting forces that are playing against each other that, that everything just looks the same. But um, I'm not quite sure if I want to try and put one of these together just yet. But if we have a look at the body size, we've got a, a guardsman there. So a squat body, of course, is coming across as very similar size to what some old school guardsmen are. And I need to just have a look. Hmm. I don't know if these are going to be squat. So if I stick them two together, these look like they're about the same size as a, as a normal guy. Okay, so... Try and make sure that they're still squats. I have done a comparison. Let's have a look down here. So, I've got an elder, a human, and a squat. Now, as you can see, this is the standard human from the standard Imperial Guard set. The elder, of course, is slightly taller. I don't mind that because the elder is supposed to be elves, and they are supposed to be taller than your standard Imperial Guard. The squat doesn't look too short compared, do they? They look very, very similar in height. Even though he's running forward a bit, this guardsman here is running forward a bit. That's why I picked these two particular models. It doesn't look like we're going to get a lot of height deviance with these figures. That could be a little disappointing, especially for some old school folks like myself. But, of course, they do look tiny compared to this Chaos Obliterator.